Hello and welcome to The Fix and today we're going to look at this BMW 3 Series E91. There's got a couple of problems. One of them is that the, the key fob doesn't lock or unlock the doors if you could see. Doesn't do anything and the other problem is we've got the ABS light coming on, the anti-lock braking system and also because of that the traction control light and the tyre uh, pressure monitoring system comes on as well the light so we're going to look into that right so to get into the car we're going to use the key blade so you just press this button at the back pull out the key blade and then we're going to undo it manually like that. now as you can see the alarm is going off so to put the alarm off you just put the key into the slot turn on the ignition and then that goes off now, what I want to show you is what lights we've got on. See, so yeah, at the moment, we've got the ABS, the handbrake, the traction control light on. And that's what one of the problems is. We're going to deal with that in a minute. I'm going to put the diagnostics on it to check what the problem is. Plug in the diagnostics into the OBD port, which is down here on the BMW. Just take that cover off and do it. Plug that in there. And this one I've got actually on my phone, so I don't have to carry around a big laptop or anything. As you can see, we've got the functions on there now. We've got, we could do the health report, which does a diagnostics of the whole, uh, all the systems in the car. But what we want to do, we want to press system selection. And we want to go into the chassis, which has got the brake system in it, the ABS. Click on that. And then this is like all the information about it what firmware and everything it's got on it so continue read fault code as you could see we've got the fault code up here now it's 5db2 that's the fault code and it's to do with the rear left sensor which is the near side sensor so it could actually be a sensor problem or it could be the abs ring problem we'll have to further investigate it now and have a look at it first of all we must remove this uh, rear wheel the near side one to investigate the ABS sensor or whatever the fault may be. So first I'm going to jack up the car. Okay. And we put our axle stand underneath it. Okay, I'm going to also leave the jack there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to have a quick look. I'm going to undo this sensor. See over here, we've got the ABS sensor, which is this here. And it's got an Allen key. I think it's a 5mm Allen key on there, over there. So I'm going to just follow the wire here. It's going in there. So first of all, We'll start off by undoing this panel, which is these 10 mil plastic nuts. Just take that one off. Yep, that exposes the plug. You can see there. That's the plug there. Take this plug off and then unclip the sensor. Now that's our ABS sensor wire. I'll just unclip it from there. Yep, it unclips like that. One more in the back behind the spring. There's one here. I think if I unclip them like that. Yep, that's come off now. This is the plug for our ABS sensor. We've unplugged it all. We've just got to take it out of the, the hub. We cannot check this ABS sensor unless you've got an oscilloscope because the voltage is so low on it, we won't be able to check it. On other cars, older models, you could check it, things like that. But what we're going to do instead, we're going to check the line coming in from the ABS module and see if that's okay. I've got the ignition on in the car. 
Now I've got to connect it to, this is the plug, what the ABS sensor is plugged into. So if I connect one of the terminals there and one on the other side, now we've got that connected. And, and if you could see on the meter, I've got 11.35 volts, so, which is right, which is about 12 volts usually, but because the car's been standing around, the battery's a little bit low. So that's the right voltage. So we've got voltage coming from the module. So that part of the circuit is all fine. So the fault's got to be either the ABS sensor is faulty or the magnetic reluctor ring is faulty that picks up the signal. Yeah, now I'm going to undo the, um, the ABS sensor from the hub. I think it's a 5mm Allen key. So I'll put it in there. That's it, that's what I'm doing now. Let's hope that this comes out easily because sometimes all the rust corrosion and everything makes them hard to come out. You have to actually drill them out. It looks a bit stiff there, so I'm going to get something to take it out. Right, as this is a bit stiff, so I'm going to try and pry it out and see if I could get it to move around a bit so we could pull it out. Here it goes, it comes out, there it sits, it's out. So you can see now. And now we're going to put the new one on. There's our new sensor. So we're going to put this one in. I've just checked the, the ring, all the teeth on the ring seem to be all right. I can't show it to you because the camera won't reach in there. So I've checked it by rotating it and looking at the teeth. So they all seem to be okay. Now I'm going to put this one on so if I undo this click from here I've got to put this on the this looks a bit longer for some reason the wrong sensor managed to get the right sensor as you can see I matched it up with the old one I took it with me to make sure it was the right one look that's the right sensor the shape of it and all that uh, now I'm going to take this clip off so you just unclip these take this off and then just make sure you put it back in the same place would be there in this gap put that on like that then I'm going to thread it through here it goes through the back of the spring and this bit threads through here going towards the hub and this one should clip in over here like so that's clipped in and that's clipped in that's in and then we're going to clip this one in on the clip down here that's clipped in and then the next one goes in there and then take that off and I'm going to plug it in there so that's clipped in and then clip that back into the casing there this rubber goes there that's all clipped in and now I'm going to put this back in plastic nut that up. Now I'm going to push the sensor back in there as you can see it's gone in then the allen key bolt and 
so I'm just going to five mil Allen key. Now that our ABS sensor has been fitted, um, we're going to take it for a test drive and check the results. When you're putting the wheels back on, always tighten the bolts by hand a few threads first because sometimes you use the impact gun and you, you put the nut directly on the impact gun, the bolt, then it could cross thread. So that's why it's always you must put a few threads on by hand and then use the impact gun. So then you know it's not cross threaded. Start the car up now. See the lights are still on, so I think I might have to put the diagnostics on it and reset it. As you can see the fault codes are still there, so let me delete them. Right now they've deleted, let's read them again, no fault code. So now the lights have actually gone off on the dash. Now we're going to take it for a test drive and see how it goes. Okay, we have solved the problem of the ABS. It was due to a bad sensor, so that is now fixed. I'll give it the good thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you could get all my future videos. And on my next video, we're going to tackle the remote control fault on this car that is not unlocking or locking with the remote. Uh -huh.